Punchwood Small Worlds, the fifth episode of series one, is written by Peter J. Hammond and starring John Barrowman, Eve Miles, Bern Gorman, Naroko Mori, and Gareth David Lloyd. So this episode begins with an old lady, Estelle, walking down the woods at night taking pictures. When the flash goes off, the creatures notice and became human sized. They're also called fairies. And according to Captain Jack, fairies were from the dawn of time. And I loved how they referenced Mara in this episode. To those of you who don't know what a Mara is, it's like an alien snake that appeared in Peter Davidson's era, the Fifth Doctor, back in the 1980s. They were a hive mind that dwelt in the dark places of the inside and take over a host. Jack was thinking that they could be part Mara as they suffocate people in their sleep. I love it when they made a Doctor Who reference, including the classic series. So Jack woke up from a nightmare in a train with dead soldiers and they have rose petals in their mouths. Gross. Yanta tells Jack about the strange weather patterns in the area. We discovered that Estelle Cole has known Captain Jack since Astroya Ballroom during World War II. When she later in 21st century meets Captain Jack again, she thought he was the son of Jack that she had known. And yet Jack had loved her when she's young and old. She thought those fairies were friendly, but Jack tried to warn her they were not. And as a result, they sadly killed her and Jack was pretty devastated. I think Eve Pierce did really well. We have a young girl called Jasmine, and she was the chosen one of the fairies. When she was walking, this guy, Mark Goodson, who claimed it was Jasmine's mom's favor, but he turned out to be a pedophilia, and he tried to kidnap her, but luckily the fairies got him, and that made Mark go berserk, coughing up rose petals, got arrested for insane behavior, and died in a cell with the rose petals down his throat. Which is not exactly how I want to die. Jasmine is loved by her mum, obviously, but her stepdad, bloody hell, what a bastard. Can't believe mum thought he's nice and gentle, but he's actually an abuser. He finds Jasmine a strange child because she had no friends and playing in the woods. And during the fifth anniversary of his relationship with her mum, he slapped Jasmine across the face when she found out that he built the fence to stop her from going into the woods. And yeah, as a result, he was killed by the fairies, and she managed to get revenge on two girls who bullied her in school. The very sad scene was where the tortured team arrived, and Jack lets the fairies take Jasmine to their lost lands. And yeah, her mum, understandably, was really devastated, and tries to attack Jack for what he did. But then Jack tried to comfort her while she was going through an emotional breakdown, the fact that she's lost her boyfriend and her only child on the same day. Even Jack was really pissed off with himself, but there was nothing he could have done. So yeah, this is an interesting and emotional episode. What are your thoughts of their small worlds? Do let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Yeah! <laughs>